Argo Short Review. 1979, the Iranian Revolution is well underway, and hostages are taken at the American Embassy because of the American support of the Shah. Six of the people working at the Embassy do escape, however, unnoticed, and they take shelter in the Canadian ambassador's house. And when Jack Bristow says that there's trouble, you better believe there's trouble. So the CIA have Tony Mendez, Ben Affleck pretending to be a spy, cook up a crazy plan to get the six out of there. Pretend they're part of a film crew. And through this we get a just constant barrage of intense situations, some great comedy, some dark humor between the CIA people. With, you know, they understand that they might die tomorrow and so they just, yeah, they make jokes to try to alleviate that tension. It's very believable and also quite funny. And then we have the, the some Hollywood types. John Goodman plays a makeup effects guy, and he's kind of tired of this whole thing, and you know, making these crappy movies. And we get some nice jokes about Hollywood, and it actually doesn't go too far with that. It's very nice, and the the sort of captivating power of movies, of Hollywood movies, is sort of gone into very nicely. This is an incredibly tense film, right from the get-go. It spends a couple of minutes explaining the context very neutrally, and it's very honest about the U.S. role in the whole oh, Iranian situation there. And from then on out, it is just non-stop tension. Two hours with my heart in my throat. Unbelievable. At, at times it gets almost overpowering. Ben Affleck puts it, pushes it right to the boundary and then doesn't quite cross it. He's, he never quite overstimulates you, but there, there are a couple of times where it gets really claustrophobic and just, it's, it's extremely exhilarating. It's a really smartly written film. You understand the characters, their motivations. The, the six, codenamed the house guests, don't have a lot of screen time, but every little bit has a little bit of strong characterization for them. So even though they, yeah, they aren't seen a lot, you kind of get to understand where they're coming from. And when they argue about if they should try this plan or not, if they should stay put instead, you actually sympathize with both points of view and there's no obnoxious character who's clearly just there to be, you know, further conflict for the movie. The film is credible up until its fairly contrived climax. And it's, it's a film of really effective setup and continuing escalation of conflicts. And it's also a film that really makes you sympathize with the Iranians as well, which is definitely a very impressive feat. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.